bringing the ZR1 to the Nürburgring because we feel we have a pretty substantial performance upgrade. The Michelin Pilot Sport Cup tires uh, are much stickier. Uh, we also have other chassis uh, improvements. We have aero improvements. Uh, so we hope to show that we've really improved the capability of the car. Performance. Uh, everything's focused around drive performance. That's why it's the people who are most competition oriented who really want that last measure of performance. telegraphs its limits uh, very clearly to the driver and it has an unusual combination of lateral traction and longitudinal traction. That lets the driver get back on the gas right after the apex of a corner. On Corvette, the tire engineer for Michelin is the same engineer that uh, engineers tires for the race car. We are always looking for technology transfer um, when we go to the track on Sunday and then we're engineering tires for the production car uh, during the week. This Pilot Sport Cup represents the latest and most intense collaboration between the Michelin engineering team and the production cars team. I've talked about the Michelin Pilot Sport Cup tires, but that's just the beginning of the process where the whole rest of the chassis is beginning with the right suggestion of the suspension system. The car is set up completely stock uh, as it would be received by a real customer. Uh, we do have to add some uh, safety equipment which actually adds weight uh, to the vehicle and actually slows us down a little bit. But the, the rest of the car is to production specifications including alignment and trim height and everything that would normally uh, expect out of a factory vehicle. Uh, up to and including the suspension parameters, including the Michelin uh, Pilot Sport Cup times. tires. The drivers uh, from novice level all the way up to the level. This time at the Nürburgring, we're lucky enough to have Jim Merrill back as our test driver. He's our chassis development engineer at Team Corvette. Uh, he's been on the job uh, for quite a long time. He drove the ZR1 you know, three years ago when we were there. The great thing about Jim is he's a super uh, competent driver, uh, super consistent, and the feedback we get can be applied to the car as it's driven on the street. So we're always trying to balance the capability on the track with comfort on and capability on the street, Jim's the perfect guy to do both those things.